Romans chapter 8 verse 17 but actually verse 18 to 29 it is that uh, what we read here in verse 28 and we know that all things work together for God to them that love God to them who are called according to his purpose glory to God if you love God if you are called according to the purpose of God God will do everything to work together for you. That is our message. It's the relation of the church of these events that are happening today. 
since St. Paul written that there will be a suffering and there is a vanity and there is a corruption, what is the relation to the church today? We will uh, learn how these events uh, can help the church. So this message today is uh, more on the people who are in the church. So in case you are questioning who is the church, the church is the people who are uh, redeemed through the blood of the Lamb. As we read in Acts chapter 20, verse 28, Take heed therefore unto yourself, and to all the plaques over which the Holy, Holy Ghost had made you overseer to be the church of God, which he had purchased with his own blood. The world is under suffering. The world will undergo of suffering. As we read in verse 18, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Verse 22, For we know that the whole creation groans and troubles it in pain together, together until now. Verse 23, And not only thee, but ourselves also, which have the first fruit of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adopting, adoption to wait the redemption of our body. So here, in accordance of what we read, there is a suffering, there is a groaning, the world is like a woman that troubles it in pain to deliver his uh, baby, a newborn baby. That is what are happenings today. We cannot count a lot of suffering that was already happened until today. The world is on suffering about this pandemic. So, we understand we have the individual sufferings here on earth. We have a different trial here on earth. And aside of our individual trials and suffering, there is a suffering in our nations so, to the whole world. And what is the relation of the church today about this suffering that was happening? It is an opening eye to the church to confirm that the Bible is true, the prophecy is true. This events uh, will open the eye of the church, so. will remind the church, so. will give a lesson to the church, so. to test the endurance and seriousness, so. patience and faithfulness of the church. So. Because the church will not exist only here on earth as we continue to learn our uh, message there but we understand that being we are members in the church the holy spirit will not forsake us god sent the holy spirit in the church to heal the church in all his infirmities in times of difficulties but the spirit itself make it intercession for us with groaning, which cannot be uttered. And he that search the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh the intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together to God, to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. 
So that is a good news for the church. So even there is a suffering that was is happening here on earth today. But the church uh, <coughs> can live with strength. The church uh, can live with the comfort of the Holy Spirit. The church uh, is under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. That is the importance of being a member in the church. Uh, God allow everything to work together to them that love God and to them that are called according to his purpose. And it is the church whom God was called from the beginning. God called the church. There is a vanity here on earth. Everything here on earth are vanity. The governments keep on improving their own country, concreting the roads, building up a lot of buildings, condominium hotels, and all infrastructure projects used for business are building and not only are uh, making a great cities within the countries every nation so are improving wants to live with the high technology but all these are vanity The world invented the sophisticated weapon, fighter jet, warship, but all these are vanity. We will probe today, can warship stop the coronavirus? Can the jet fighter can stop the coronavirus? Are those sophisticated weapon can eradicate the coronavirus the will of the world can stop the coronavirus can do nothing so that is a probe that everything here on earth is vanity but the church sir, will not stay <coughs> of this material that are vanity because the church have hope. The world will come to the conclusion of vanity. But the church will not come to the conclusion of vanity because the church had a hope. But by reason of him who had subjected the same in hope, God Put the church under the hope. It's only the people who belong to the church had the hope today. Maybe all members in the church are not the richest people. Maybe the poorest people is a member of the church. But the poorest people that was inside the church, a member of the church, a member of the family of God. The poorest people that was purchased through the blood of the Lamb. The vanity will not end his life. But he has the hope he will leave this earth because he has the hope. For we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. So we will see everything here on earth. But this is not our hope. Even scientists can provide a vaccine for the coronavirus. This is not our hope.
But if we hope for that we see not, then though we with patience we wait for it. So we have our hope is that we have not seen. What is that things? What is that that we have not seen? That we have to do the patience of waiting that uh, uh, hope that we did not see. This is the redemption of the church from the corruption. The world is under corruption. What does corruption mean? Corruption is just like when a, the body will die. When man will die, his soul separate from his body and his body will be buried three feet to seven feet under the ground and his body will decompose by the bacteria bacteria and he will be corrupted that is what apostle uh referring in this uh, scripture there will be a corruption here on earth it is exactly our world will come a time that this is no more because there will be a new world there will be a new heaven so there is a corruption here on earth but the church will be saved from the bondage of the corruption chapter 8 verse 21 because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of children of God. So the church will not belong for those their destiny is corruption. Because in Colossians, 1 Colossians, Thessalonians chapter 1, chapter 4, verse 13, I read, but I will not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpets of God, in the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the lord in the ear and so shall we ever be with the lord wherefore comfort one another with this word this is what apostle uh, said even there is a corruption here on earth there is a salvation to the church from the bondage of corruption so paul uh, referring the resurrection of the church those who are already died when the lord will come there will be a resurrection to those who are already died and for those who are alive when the lord will come there will be a chance unto their body from mortal to immortal and they will be caught together to meet the lord up in the sky so even there is a corruption here on earth, the church will be saved from that corruption. Everything work together to them that love God and for those who are called according to his purpose. Okay, let us go about the word predestinate. The word predestinate is about the things that was predetermined before it was happened what what is this uh, events that was predestined this events that was predestined toward the church is the glorified of the church so after everything here on earth time will come that god will glorify the church and god was already predestined the glorification of the church even from the beginning romans chapter 8 verse 29 for whom he did not foreknow 
I repeat, for whom he did for law, he also did predestinate to be confirmed to the image of his son. The image of his son is about the whole body of the church. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Jesus Christ is the firstborn of the resurrection. And the church will be resurrected with him. So they are predestinated to be glorified. Even from the beginning of this world, it was already planned by God to glorify the church. That is how uh, the difference about church. So the church today is the reason why God sent his Jesus Christ, sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to be suffered so that the church will be saved. And it is the church is the reason why his son will come again to cut up the church to be delivered from the corruption of this world. This is the message today. If you are not belong to the church, if in case you don't assure yourself that you are belong to the church, you have the chance. It is not too late to find out yourself if you are belong to the church or not but if you wish to belong to the church sir, that God save you also from the vanity suffering from the corruption just repent in our sin humble ourselves and accept Jesus Christ as our Savior. And we are among of those people who are purchased of His blood. And we will be with the church to be glorified. Let us pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, the message today is everything work together to them that love God and to them that are called according to His purpose. I pray, dear God, to every viewer, if in case they are not yet saved, save them, Lord, that they will be also become a part of the church. To everyone who are already a member of the church, yes, there are a lot of trials, there are a lot of sufferings. We cannot understand these kinds of uh, uh, suffering that is still coming aside of the past suffering but we thank you lord for the holy spirit that you seem to heal the church so i don't know what is the trials what is the suffering what is the difficulties of my friends who are suffering now i pray your holy spirit will help him will help her to deliver from the suffering if they have the suffering today if their suffering is about the problem, I don't know what kind of problem, then give the solution of the problem. If their suffering is about the disease, I don't know what kind of disease, what they are suffering, but I pray in the name of Jesus to deliver them and send the miracle healing unto them in the name of Jesus. Do the miracle healing to everyone who have the suffering, suffering from their physical, suffering from their situation, I do not know. But I entrust to you for the deliverance, for the miracle healing, for the salvation of all the viewers today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you.